Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your orthodontic practice production pearl of the week. I think in my career, which is now 38 years at Levin Group and almost uh, about 40 years as a dentist, that about every four or five years, somehow I get back to a deep dive study of the 80-20 principle. It must be really important to me because I'm here again. I just bought six new books. And the 80-20 principle started, I think, in 1897, when an, an economist named Vilfredo Pareto discovered that 80% of the wealth in France I think it was France, was controlled by 20% of the population. And then 10% of the population had 65% of the way, and it goes on and on. And the idea became that the minority had a majority. The minority of people had the majority of the wealth. Very interesting. Well, Unfortunately, Mr. Pareto was not a really good speaker or communicator, so his ideas didn't get far until other people picked them up and jumped on them, and I'll skip the history of Joseph, Joseph Duran and other people. But the 80-20 principle is one of the most powerful laws of human nature uh, and nature that I've ever come across. And what it basically says is the majority of your results, 80% of your results are gonna come from 20% of your actions. 80% of results will come from 20% of your actions. Examples, most of us wear 20% uh, of our clothing 80% of the time. We wear out 80% of our carpet, uh, we wear out 80, 20% uh, 80, of our carpet versus 80% of our carpet, and so on. You get the idea here. So in your life, What's the 20% that's going to get you 80% of the results? Where should you focus? What is important? Or another way it's called the mighty few. What are those mighty few that are going to help you to achieve amazing success? It might be that only 20% of what the TC says gets 80% of the closes. It might be that only 20% of your referral marketing is getting you 80% of your new patients. What if we could take that 20% for marketing or TC and improve it, which is what we focus on here at Levine Group, and, and make that a little bit more and get an even better result? Because the 80-20 principle isn't literally 80-20, it could be 90-10, 99-1. If we can improve that part in our personal lives, our business lives, our uh, orthodontic lives, uh, our practice, 20% of your patients give you 80% of your headaches, or maybe it's 2% of your patients give you 98% of your headaches. What could we do with that 2%? Is there some of those we shouldn't even be treating before we get started? Are there others that we could take certain steps before we have a problem or warn them better what the result might be? So. Give a lot of thought to the 80-20 principle. I try to live it as much as possible. It's made my life so much better, so much simpler, so that I can concentrate on those mighty few to get the best possible results. For me, best results is helping you, helping the profession, uh, making a difference through education and guidance. For you, it may be increasing referrals, getting more starts, finishing cases faster, having less headaches, even in our teams. I love most team members. There are lots of you watching these pearls, which is great. But when you think about it, it's the very, very small number of team members that create tension or conflict on a team. What? How do we address it? What is that small part that gets an 80% result. As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year, and I'll see you next week.